Hello everyone. I last time I did a video I said I would show you I would show you my new um storage trunk and my new um my second um room or air purifier for the other half of my apartment. I only have like 700 feet in here, but one wasn't able to go to all parts of the apartment, so I got another one. But it's been so long, and I put it off for so long, I just told her that I would just tell you about it rather than show you this time. But I'll describe it well enough that it's like you get a picture anyway. Except the brand names, I'm not sure of the brand names. Well, the um, trunk is a Seward brand, S-E-W-A-R-D, and it's called Orchid. The color, and it's Orchid color, which to me is pinkish. Light pink, light purple, kind of a mixture. Um... And it's got black, uh, a thick black handle made of plastic. But the uh, the locks and the, uh, and latches and some steel framework on the outside and the purplish pink or pink purple, um, it's vinyl covering, it's very pretty, I don't like, um, all but one shade of purple, so to me it looks more pink than purple, and I've described my favorite shade of purple, but for any, um, shade in here of purple, but for any that are new, that don't remember what I said, it's Royal purple, you know, the really deep, but not dull deepness. It's very vibrant and um, kind of glowy, but not light glow. It's a dark glow, but it's very, oh man, it's hard to describe this way. I don't describe it very often, but it's just... It's very, very, very purple and not a light purple. It's a deep purple, but it's a vibrant purple, a glowy kind of deep purple. Um, when I have another item that I can show you that's the same, same color as my one and, one and only favorite shade of purple or hue of purple, I'll show you again. I don't have anything close by right now to show you. And as far as the um, room purifier, I have two. You've seen the black and blue one already. And you've seen the name of it, but this one I don't know the name of. I can't remember. It, but it's white on the outside, but plus there's a blue glowy part and a pink glowy part and blue glowy controls on it. So that describes the color at least, colors at least. And again, it's an air purifier. So I have two air purifiers now. I don't have any dehumidifiers because the one I had, um, well, I gave one away, plus the one I liked the most um, with the multicolors on it. Something happened to the electronics and it broke right away. So I don't have a replacement yet, but I'm not getting a replacement for it until the correct season for 
a dehumidifier arrived, which is summer, well, some of spring, all of summer, and some of fall. But in the winter time, there's really no humid humidity where I live, so um, no need to spend the money yet. And if it doesn't pick up much water in other seasons, like the first one I had that broke, picked up, it picked up a lot. But there's a lot of differences in the way I, um, well, my, my area where I have it, there was a lot more moisture before, even, um, year-round moisture, not, not, and that included the winter, the way I had to do a certain chore, it required to have moisture come out of the air, but now I do things differently, so there's not an overabundance of moisture, so it might not be necessary to buy and or to keep a dehumidifier anymore. But I'll, I'll buy another one just to make sure, and if not, then I will give away my second dehumidifier to save space and energy costs, so... I know other people that could use a dehumidifier for their allergies and such. We'll keep it local and give to helpers and things like that. Either way, either I'll keep it or give it away or something if I don't need it myself anymore. Um. Okay, I want to keep this short, and oh, oh, I wanted to say too that this month, February 2024, has a leap year of February, so we get an extra day, and we get 29 days in February instead of 20, the usual 28th, so that's pretty cool, so enjoy that extra day, and doesn't happen very often, so that makes it um, extra special. And to honor special things going on in February, birthdays, anniversaries, other special things, I'm going to splurge a couple times at restaurants and have people bring me back what I order. And they save me money by me not having to order delivery. They just go get it for me and I get them an appetizer or something or one thing off the menu or as a thank you. I can't afford to do the restaurant thing much, but I prefer restaurant meat to a lot of home cooked meats these days. They're doing some weird things with food right now. And I just much prefer restaurant meat to anything I can, most anything I can, any meat product I can get at the grocery store at the moment. Plus, part of that, I, um, gross out for me at, uh, supermarket eating of meats is because since I can't get off the floor to cook for myself right now, I have to have a lot of meat that's cold, or well, either room temperature or cold after it's cooked, and right after it's cooked, I can have a hot meal, but when I'm alone and stuff, and my helpers aren't here, I have to have room temperature or cold meat, or a cold anything to eat, so I just don't prefer eating meat when it's cold. Most meats are gross when they're cold, so I look forward to the occasional restaurant food. Also, it's a twofold blessing to have something to celebrate with my um, the people I love, and it includes relatives and friends and kind strangers and important events. 
in their lives and on special occasions in general each month. So. Well, I have to pay off bills too, so I can't go too wild with the restaurant runs and until I get more of my bills whittled down. But that's happening, so that's a good thing. Oh, and for anybody who has to get around like I have to since I can't walk, there's other non-walkers that like to crawl around their apartment once they're out of their um, mobility um, devices. And they prefer crawling because that's their version of walking. Like, that's what I call my crawling. It's my version of walking because I can't walk. And you need to, and you have a slippery floor or something, put down some, and you just want to sit on something that doesn't make you fall down from the um, crawling position if you're on a slippery floor. Put down um, some carpet backing um, mesh, and it keeps me right in place. I don't slide anywhere. Like before the um, carpet mesh, one knee and one one calf and one foot would keep sliding towards the wall because of the slippery floor before I got um, situated and sat down in front of my computer. And now I don't have that problem. Or say, I'd have to belly crawl until I could back up into the mesh to be able to get up in the crawling position to be able to finish crawling on the floor to, say, the refrigerator to get something to eat, crawl back and forth, or, um, just like that. It's just a nice tool that I found that isn't for its original purpose of making the carpet stay in place. It makes my body stay in place when I need it to. The parts of my body that contact the, um, carpet mesh backing, the mesh carpet backing, um, to keep the carpets from skidding and sliding. It also helps me from skidding and sliding and anybody else who would try it. So, there's an idea for people that get around like I do when they're alone in their apartment or when they like to, um, crawl instead of stay in their um, mobility apparatus once they get home and take a break from the, if they can, from the um, mobility apparatus. Because there's different degrees of um, ability, you know, so some of us do prefer to crawl instead of stay in our mobility devices 24-7 from bed to mobility device, back to bed again. There's an in-between time here. We're not in bed and not in our mobility devices, so that's when we crawl and may need some devices to help us not slide around on a slippery floor. If that's the case, then try the um, carpet mesh backing that prevents rugs from um, slipping and sliding and moving around on you. It works. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, no, I got a really nice phone call from my brother and my sister-in-law today. That was a lot of fun and nice of them and sweet of them to do. That's all I have for you now. Sorry, my life isn't all that exciting right now. Thank you for hanging in there with me um, and for me. Much appreciated. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All y'all, bye-bye. Have a good evening.
or morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Okay, bye. I always have to look over to see where to shut it off at.